Hey there beauties, Julie Sisheries here with Oval School and today we're going to be getting a little DIY with face masks. For this mask, you'll need plain yogurt, raspberries and blueberries, Oxalis Apothecary Geranium Clay Mask, and spoons. For each mask, I'm going to use one ramekin. First, take your plain yogurt and scoop it into your ramekin. Next, take your raspberries and blueberries and add them to the mix. Then, take your clay mask and add one scoop. Finally, you're going to mix it all up while crushing the raspberries and blueberries to break them down. It's okay if you see skin, from the raspberries and blueberries, this is perfectly fine. Every little bit of antioxidants and nutrients is beneficial for the skin. For this mask, you'll need half of one avocado, spirulina green clay mask, pure honey, Jamaican black castor oil, and spoons. First, scoop your avocado into the ramekin. Then take one spoonful of your green clay mask and add it to the mix. Use a spoon to break down the avocado and blend in the green clay mask. Add one spoonful of pure honey and one spoonful of castor oil. Then mix the blend. For this mask, you'll need half of one lemon, citrus rose clay mask, water, vitamin E oil, and spoons. First, add a spoonful of the citrus rose clay mask. Then add just a little bit of water, and this will depend on how much of the clay mask you use. Then add a spoonful of vitamin E oil. And just a little bit of lemon juice. A few drops should do. Now blend your ingredients. For this mask, you'll need coconut milk, steel cut oats in organic ground turmeric, marula oil, and spoons. First, add your steel cut oats to the ramekin. Pour your coconut milk into the ramekin with the steel cut oats. Next, 
Add one spoonful of the organic ground turmeric. And finally, add another spoonful of marula oil. Now you can mix your blend. If your blend looks a little thin, don't worry. Just like when you're making oatmeal for breakfast, thickness takes time. So give it a couple of minutes. Now I'm gonna show you guys how to apply the face mask. So first I'm gonna start with a wet face and I'm going to apply my Mario Botescu Acne Facial Cleanser. I'm just gonna rub it in for about one minute. Next I'm gonna remove the cleanser with my washcloth and then move on to the mask. So I'm not gonna use just one face mask but I'm gonna use two and this is called multi-masking. So in my T-zone I'm gonna use my avocado mask for detoxing the skin and providing me with some deep moisture with that honey and Jamaican black castor oil. And I'm gonna apply this mask to my T-zone and my cheeks. to follow I'm going to apply the brightening and gentle exfoliation mask that I created and I'm just going to apply that to all of the other areas of my face. I'm going to leave the mask on for about seven minutes and I'm just going to set my timer. All right, time's up and the mask is ready to come off. So I'm going to remove it with my washcloth. And this is probably gonna be the last time that I use my washcloth because it's gonna be pretty messy. Once I've removed all of the face mask from my face and I am completely clear of all the face masks. I'm going to take a cotton ball and apply witch hazel toner to my entire face. And I'm just going to allow it to air dry. Before moving on to moisturizer, and for my moisturizer, I'm gonna be using the Derma E Vitamin C Moisturizer. And then just rub the moisturizer in, and I am all done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and that you guys will take the time to scour your kitchen for some ingredients and make your own DIY face mask. See you beauties in my next video.